So, who have we got this time then? Have a little check. Oh, the uh, the chest isn't open. You, you, you can low? You can low? 79? Uh, I don't know, but I can see a Sunbro though. Uh, is it just the two of them? I think it is just the two of them. Okay. Calm down, sir. I wasn't anywhere near you. Don't need to be swinging so early. Okay, so uh, Host is looking to fire up that bonfire. Very good work. And uh, the Golden is coming after me a little bit. But <laughs> Panic rolls desperately away to break some gear. Uh, you going to come and get me, sir? You, you have been isolated. Oh, good running attack. I didn't space that at all correctly. But you have isolated yourself a little bit, sir. And my high Bravo is going to be your high Bravo. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead already. And you can who comes up behind for the uh, for the sneak attack. Oh god, nice, nice punish on my uh, on my heels as well. Just give me a second, sir. Just let me heal back up to full, and then I'll face you. There we go. Thank you very much. Right. So now we can reset the situation. We can charge in. Where are you? Oh, he's just, he's just he's just playing through the arena. You know, just picking up boxes, picking up items. Try catching with the R2. Nice double roll. Oh, did that not? Oh, nice play. He actually did a charged R2 to try and catch me. That was very good. Excellent spacing from him. Okay, can we not fight on the stairs, please? Because I really don't like fighting on stairs. Okay, here we go. So it's uh, Ultra Great Sword against Yorms. Obviously, his doesn't have a true combo. Mine does, which is a little bit of a bonus. Uh, so that'll give the, be the benefit to me in terms of damage. Go for a big charged R2 roll. Didn't catch him. He did a nice uh, double roll again there. I just need to try and... There we go. That's where I can punish him. If I, uh, if I get my timing right on the roll, uh, I can come in with my own little rolling poke. No, not that time. Not that time. Okay, let's just feel you out now, sir. Just feel you out. Come on. Come, come to me. Come to me, sir. Come towards me. Okay, good rolling attack. Didn't quite catch him, though. He's backing up. He's backing up. Oh, he's got the shield out. That was a blunder. It was an absolute blunder if he's not going to... Um, why has he gone static? Sir! No! Sir! No! Why did he go static? It's always the way. Oh, you... I didn't know why... Why did he even do that? He was actually... I thought he was holding himself quite well. Um, he was right by the bonfire. There were no enemies about. Surely he hadn't used too many Estus. Um, that's a shame. I thought he was doing. I thought he was doing well. I mean, it was a mistake to go to the the shield, but apart from that, I thought he was holding his own. But but hopefully better this time. That would be nice. Um, but who is it? Okay, starting over by the bonfire. It is. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's uh, you can low again. Um, so clearly, because he because um, he DC'd, therefore the timer doesn't get set. So I've invaded his world straight <laughs> as soon as he's turned his game back on. I've invaded him straight again. All right then, Lee Canlo. Let's see. Let's fill you out. Let's see what's going to happen this time. So let's just check corners. He's made it this far. Oh, he's, he's there with this. He's got his Sunbro again. Lovely. Hang on. Didn't didn't he have Yorms last time? What did the Sunbro have? Wait, I'm confused now. Well, I'm going to come in for a running attack. If he's not paying attention to me. Oh, he's got the meme sword as well. That'll be perfect. That's it, sir. You just come and out one into me. Oh no! No no no! I don't want, I don't want to get your friend smashing me from behind though. So let me just please get you both in my view. There we go. Just so I can set the scene. That's it, mister. That's it, mister. You just come rushing in. Oh, what, oh, what? Into a big charged R2! <laughs> he always catches the panic roll. It's so good. So he's decided to change up from the meme swords into a slightly lesser of a meme sword. <laughs> he's gone for dark swords. Okay, sir. The old classic dark sword, dark sword shield of wands uh, combination. It's always nice to see. He does have the wrong armor set. But, um, but yeah, it still does surprisingly good damage. Even though that got nerfed a long time ago. Still quite an efficient weapon. Whoa, a jumping <laughs> Whoa! Jumping attack. You don't see that very often. Go for an R2. Try and catch the panic rolls. He did. He managed to get about three, though, in between. <laughs> Nicely getting out of it. I can swing away. I can swing away now because I caught him. I caught him coming in towards me. Um, I wasn't quite out of stamina, so I fortunately didn't get uh, smashed too hard by the Dark Sword. He's, I'm going to try and punish his heel because he's very low. Then go for R2! It's <laughs> Two for two! They both got destroyed by the exact same combo. Um, R1, R1, into an R2 to catch the panic roll away. Uh, but you can low. He didn't get away that time. He didn't get in, he didn't get away quick enough, unfortunately. Couldn't close the application in time. Uh, managed to get in second time's the charm. Um, and I guess I probably won't get to see him again now for a little while at least because that will now set the timer. So I won't be able to invade him for at least 15, 20 minutes. But uh, GG, you can low. Hopefully, hopefully see you in about half an hour or so. So, who are we... Oh, okay. Oh, by the fan. Oh, oh, so I can show you. Okay, people. Here we go. Yes, I do know you can jump onto the doorway and fall down without taking any damage. But really, how much time have I actually saved myself there by than doing the ring swap? I would say half a second, maybe. So, you know what? Um, so, it does, so, thank you for telling me, everyone. But I am well aware 
Um, okay, so I think the guy was called Rune Teabag, was the name of the host. Um, so the dragons are down. Both pus of men have not been activated, so could well be hiding around here. Um, some, uh, there's some breakages there, but let me just check in grassy areas, see if he's hiding somewhere. Uh, in, the, in here, this grass hasn't, probably hasn't, isn't hiding down there because the Lothric Knight is still in his praying position. So is he maybe hiding around the bonfire zone somewhere? All these sort of corners and grassy nooks can all be sort of um, gestured uh, into. So you can do like the, the curl up or you can do the lie down and they can all sort of hide you quite nicely in those areas. Um, but couldn't see him, so let's head back towards the uh, the first bonfire and see if, see if we can find try and figure out where um, Rune is. Or actually, should I call him the tea bag? Much prefer the tea bag, I think, <laughs> especially as a Brit. Um, okay, so Beans, he's definitely been through here because the well, he had to have been through here, isn't he? Because the dragons were down. But that okay. So Lothric knights haven't moved, so I'm pretty sure that means he hasn't spawned in from this bonfire. I guess it could mean that he's in the very first room if he's spawned in from, uh, say, the, the dancers' bonfire and come up. But it's probably more likely that he started at the second bonfire and he's hiding somewhere. So we'll um, we'll head back because uh, if he is in that first area, I can always go back. He's got nowhere to go basically, so I can always go back and try and find him. But I think it's more likely that he's probably hiding around here. So let's really do a thorough check this time. I, was quite, I thought I was quite thorough last time, but. Clearly not thorough enough, because I do believe he's probably in this zone somewhere. Uh, unless, of course, he's uh, he has now set off the puzzle men. But we're going to go. We're going to be just walking around the area slowly, always hugging the left wall, clicking <laughs> clicking the right stick all the time, just to try and get a lock on. Um, yeah, unlikely that he's gone through there, so we don't have to go all the way down. But this is this is how you solve a maze, people. Always follow the left wall, and eventually you'll find your way out of the maze. It's, it's just it's just mathematics. It's how it's, oh hello, hello, he's doing hiding in plain sight. Very cheeky. Well played, that man. It did take me a while to find you. Um, oh, he's actually broken some of the uh, some of the Lothric knights already. He probably shouldn't have done that. But yeah, you can see he's in full Lothric uh, gear. Yeah, I found you, buddy. Good job. Actually, he hasn't got the. Uh, I don't think he's got the gauntlets on. Okay, we're ready to go. So he's got quite a uh, he's got quite a full setup there. Um, he's got the old uh, Lothric straight sword. It's going to be scary. Gold medals going to be very scary. Excellent work to use. Oh Jesus, we want to watch out for the uh, we want to watch out for the fire breath. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. Let's have a fight then, sir. So we've got poise against meta. Who will vi who will be the victor? <laughs> I imagine it's probably going to be him, but we'll we'll see. It depends how uh, how passive he plays. Okay, only go for one swing because I am scared of a setup parry. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Thought he might go R1, R1, R2 there. Fortunate I didn't get caught by anything. Oh, there's, there's a good R2. Okay, oh, and I, I saw the little aura around my body, so he's gone dark infused, I think. So he has gone, but I'm going to be able to hyper armor. R1, R1, into an R2 to catch the roll. And I've got a healthy life lead. And then Poise wins the day. Poise always wins. People laugh at Poise, but it's so good. It really is. Against against light weapons. And let's have a little sit down now in his spot, in his hiding area. GG Rooty Bag. I wonder if he's making his own video, because you always see those um, hiding in plain sight videos. And has there been some in, in Dark Souls 3? I know I saw them in Dark Souls 2, but they, they must have been in Dark Souls 3. But anyway, GG to him. Uh, lovely idea. I don't think I've seen that for a long time. Long time I don't think I've seen that for. I think I've seen that once before, ages ago. But uh, yeah, GG to him. That was awesome. That was a good little fight. And who have we got this time then? Okay, starting up here. So it is... Devil May Cry 13. What a good game that is. Actually, to be fair, which ones have I played now? I played the first one. I remember that was like the first game I got on my PS2. I got like a bundle of games. It was like that. What else did I get, man? GTA 3 I got. I think I got a third game, but I can't remember what it was. So I really enjoyed the first one. But then I don't think I really played this, the later ones for some reason. I might have played two. I'm not sure. Anyway, good. <laughs> lost in my own memories, just reminiscing. Okay, so dragons hadn't been set off. Running back towards the first. Ah, hello, sir. Hello, are you there? Are you AFK? No, you are there. Okay, cool. Dueling by the bonfire. Are we dueling by the bonfire? Hello, you wave. Are you going to wave back, sir? Yes? No? Nothing? What's he got? Um, some sort of... Yep, hello? Are we fighting then? Okay, so some sort of... Um, what's that? Katana. It looks like maybe frayed, I think. Okay, and then he's got full old thorns on. Do some rolling, because I thought he was going to come for a running attack there. That's what I've got to be wary about with the katanas. 
But hopefully if he comes into trade... Oh, that was the weapon art, I think. Or is he, has he not got any FP? He's changed up to the Black Knight Glaive, so I wonder if he's run out of FP, because I think he was trying to do the weapon art there. The uh, the laser beam across the floor move. Um, whoa, 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 okay, okay. okay. Few, whoa, 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 a few panic rolls. A few panic rolls there. Wasn't quite working out how I anticipated. Okay. Oh, there you go. The challenge is the panic roll. Managed to catch it. Okay. Can we follow up now? Oh, we got, we got the high brother. We got the, we got the double one. The delayed of the R second R2 to again catch the panic roll. He's quite low now. Let's see if we can get you. Well, let's also see if he's going to heal, I guess, is also the question. Or if this will be a nice, honourable, fair duel by the bonfire. That wasn't quite enough to catch him, but oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's an invasion, dude. Of course you can heal, but let's see. Let me try and challenge myself. Oh, no. Okay. Just as I say that, let's see if I can try and beat this guy without... I don't think I'm going to be able to. I was going to try and beat this guy without healing, but I don't think it's looking very good. Oh, I managed to get the super stun. He was clearly mashing, furiously mashing his R1s there. Um, but okay, so that's at least even the score a little bit. To, uh, but I think I could probably take one or two more hits. He's also probably one stun lock away. So we are quite... Oh, he's going back to his katana. Wants to try and finish me off with the running attack. Probably not the best of the moves. He's like, yeah, he, I think he realised that wasn't the way to go. That definitely wasn't the vibe. So he went back to his... Oh, bit of skippage. We don't want skippage now. Come on. Let's see. Let's see if I can just finish him off. Oh, good double roll from him. He anticipated that time and got a double roll. Must have saw my animation come out. Um... Okay, let's just see if we can figure it out. I'm, I, I do not like that Halberd matchup. Able to catch that panic roll. He went a bit early on it. So able to catch that one. But Halberd is definitely one of my least favourite matchups. Uh, I just I can't seem to react sometimes. And they obviously they have the range, which, uh, which can punish my... Oh, I didn't think... I thought I was happy to trade there. Oh, no, he's going for, he's going for rolling attacks to kill me. He's going to try... Oh, no, I thought I spaced that out. I thought I spaced that out. <laughs> of course. Of course I get the point down. <laughs> of course I do. I deserved it. I did deserve that, to be fair. I gave him an, a, a um, sarcastic applause during the fight. So, of course, he was going to give me the point out when he beat me. GG to that man. Devil may cry. <laughs> he's, made, he's made me cry with my point down. Um, but, yeah, wasn't able to. I, um, I misjudged the spacing at the end there. Uh, but the, the trying to finish me off with the rolling was pretty good. And who have we got this time, then? Just have a little check around. Can't see any movement from my from my hollow buddies. Whoa, hello. That's a familiar name. Uh, I've been using this a bit too much. Let's change to the Grey Club. Um, so he must have a dried finger. It's Devil again. He must have a dried finger activated. Uh, does he want to have many jewels? Hello to you again, good sir. Does he just want to have jewels by the bonfire then? Is that his game? Uh, hello? Hello, Devil? Um, is he AFK? Hello? Can you see me? Is this all some sort of trick? Why is he so low? Well, I'm going to get it. I don't care. I'm going to get it, though. Yeah, I'm the winner. I'm the best. Yeah, victory. Yeah, I'm the best. Oh, man, if only I should really be pointing down, but he's not even here to see it. I guess, why would he, why would he pop a finger and then go AFK? That seems desperately not the best move to make. Uh, desperately unwise. But um, I'll take it. And I don't think he even healed from after our last encounter because you can see his health was quite low. So he just pointed down and thought, <laughs> and then just enjoyed the champagne of victory. Just had a little saunter around his house. But fine, I'll take it, you know. So hopefully we get more action here because uh, archives have been a little bit, a little bit quiet this evening. Uh, death vlog. No, Volg. Death Volg. Okay, what's a Volg? Is a Volg something? I don't think I know, so I, just, I think I'll stick to death. Uh, the dragon is down, so unlikely to have come through here yet. Can't see any activity by the bonfire. It doesn't even look lit. So um, let's make our way back to the beginning of the level uh, and see if we can find this dude. See if we can find death himself. Uh, <laughs> I prefer death vlog. That wouldn't be a very long vlog, though, I guess, would it? Just like one day's worth, and then that'd be over. But, <laughs> um, but okay, so um, uh, a chest not even open. So that does suggest, although, hello... We do have some death over here. Uh, death by death. Uh, the Lothric Knights have already been uh, finished. So what does that mean? We'll just head back towards the beginning, see if we can find him. So the monk isn't dead, but that's... Oh, calm down, Mr. Monk. Who are you attacking? Uh, he's not dead either. So it's just the first one. So does that mean he's hiding in the first room? Wow, so the, the, your, this knight has been has stood up uh, from his praying position. Let's check. Maybe he's gone to... Um, no, okay. Maybe I thought that he'd gone from that bonfire towards the um, to the elevator to get towards the uh, the shortcut to the boss, but it doesn't seem so. And judging, whoa, what was what was that Lothric Knight doing? A bit of skating from him. 
But seeing as it's just the first one that's dead, I guess that probably means he's hiding in here somewhere. So is he is he a white branch or something? Or is he hiding behind these uh, desks? Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, that doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. That looks a little bit out of place, my friend. It was a good, it was a good hiding spot. I, I missed it the first time through the area, but yeah, definitely not, not a candelabra where it's supposed to be. I don't think. So okay, okay, what's he got now? So he's got. Um, oh, I got stuck between the bonfire. I was worried. I was worried there for a second what was actually going on. I got stuck between the bonfire. Okay, no, no, no. I do know those can be parried, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to be going for a parry on those things. Okay, so he's got the. Um, He's got the lightning arrow as well for his obviously some sort of heavy strength cleric um, set. Oh, and he's mixed up with the, the throwing shivs as well, whatever they're called. Ma magic shiv, church shiv, whatever it's called. I'm very good with the names of these things. <laughs> okay, let's try and get him to spunk all his stamina and then I can start roll catching. Okay, there's one. Can we get another? Okay, good double roll from him. My timing was slightly off. Oh, and then I panic rolled straight into that lightning arrow. Lightning, <laughs> lightning arrow. But it didn't, oh mate, that was not the time to chug your blue juice. Um, but it didn't seem to do a lot of damage. I wonder how much faith he... No, sir. No, this is not really... Actually, I suppose it is working out for him. I'm only doing 560 damage. So look, look at the furious panic roll, sir. He only had one game plan. That was hide. And now it's just panic roll. No, sir. You've got to leave for much more space than that. Come on, dude. You can't just get a, a couple of panic rolls away from me and hope for the best. Oh, he's trying to suck him in. He's trying to suck me into that. I'm able to roll through it and get him for the backstab. <laughs> GG to you, sir. Now, quickly, I've got, go, I've got to go to my own branch. Go to my own branch. I'll hide in the corner. And no one will know that I was here. Perfect. It's the perfect plan. <laughs> GG to death vlog. Um, excellent hiding space. I think you were a little bit too far out in the open, sir. You needed to be a little bit... Um, into a, into the side, into the corners, in amongst the un other candelabras. Um, yeah, you're a little bit exposed right, right next to the bonfire. Made it a touch obvious once I had my uh, looking hat on for you. But GG to that man. And who have we got today? That then. That was a turn to Michael Caine. So, who have we got? That's, like, that's Bruce Forsyth. The impressions are all over the place today. Right, so I think it was Arrow Checo. Um, <laughs> the box has not been opened yet. The chest has not been opened. So, likely to be... Oh, hello. There was no movement from the, uh, from the knight. So, I thought maybe he was actually further on through the level. But I did get a bit of a clue there. I saw the health bar get in. So, he's obviously clearly in the first room. Tangling with the first guy. So, let's uh, head over there and see what we can see. Okay. So, hello, where is everyone? No, nothing yet. There's, there he is. Hello to you, good sir. How are you doing? Wait, is there one? No, it's, that's a ghost. That's fine. There's only one of them. All right, Checo. I'm here. That's it. You buff up again, sir. Oh, he's gone from, he's gone from lightning to dark, I think. Has he gone? Um, so, I'll pop on a, uh, pop on a bug pellet. No point letting him get free damage on me. Uh, and what's he doing now? Is that some sort of healing spell? Or was that, I'm not sure what that was. My guess is that's a healing spell. I guess it, whoa, what's he doing? Hello, hang on. Oh no, I thought, I thought he was going to be doing um, WOG, but it's not. It's the even worse one. It's the Pillars of Light shit, which I swear has probably never killed anyone. But he's, run, he's managed to get a blue inside. I'll give him a quick turn and burn as he comes charging into me. Okay, what's your game plan now, sirs? I'll, just, I'll happily wait over here. You're the guys in the... You've got the majority of folks. So um, what, what's the game plan? Oh, he's got Cathedral. Going for a big charge R2. I can appreciate that. That's good work. Come on, come into my come into my trap, sir. Come into my layer. Just come in a bit too close. Oh, I was going to go for a turn and burn, but he just backed up in time. So what are you doing? Are you healing? I, I, I wasn't sure if that was going to be a um, seed or a heal. It turned out to be a heal, so obviously it's a bit of a faith-based build. Oh, I could have gone for combo there, but I just went for the straight damage. Here comes Checo. Got to be... Oh, I'll have to be ready, thank God. Thank God. I was going to say the damage is terrible from that lad, but it's because I have been buffed um, with the Sacred Oath. Is it Sacred Oath? Yeah, uh, buy it from the Monk. Checo! Checo! No! <laughs> I've been forsaken. He was like, what? I don't... I, I'm bemused by that. Because he had his set up at the beginning. You know, he was putting his buffs on. He seemed he seemed like he was ready to have some PvP. He put his healing magic on. Um, and seemed ready to go. I just backed up because I wanted to take care of the blue. Blue was gone. Happy to go back into the room and reset the game. But, not, no, guess not. Checo was like, nope. Fuck this guy. I'm out. Would Michael Caine actually go there? It'd be Monday as Michael Caine. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> oh, it's Eric Checo again! Oh, <laughs> so 
this is what happens. Arrow, mate, this is what happens when you DC, you see. You get no timer because you've not beaten me. I've not beaten you. It resets everything, and therefore I can just invade you immediately as soon as you start your game up again. So I know where he is now. I know he's in the, um, I know he's in the first room, probably tangling with that guy again. Um, so there he is. What's going to happen, Arrow? Are you going to DC again, or are you ready to fight me? What's, how's the game plan? He's going to go for it. Okay, you can go for that. I don't think that weapon has any, uh, that move has any hyper armor. I'm not sure if you're using it, if it depends on the talents. Oh, he's going to DC again. He's gone quite static. Or he get another DC. No, panic rolls now. Okay. So he was worryingly dormant for a moment there. Okay, now he's, now he's just reacting to my rolls. That's fine. Yeah, you can go for, I'll go for the combo if you're going to be healing up in front of me, sir. I do have combo. Oh, he's trapped himself. Oh, I let him out. I did let him out the panic rolling oh, watch out sir don't back up too much no check out. it's gone desperately wrong for the guy am i gonna get eight no i'm not gonna get a uh, i thought i might get a dc message here as he was just able to quickly turn his application off um as he was falling but it didn't seem to happen i managed to get my pale tongue so we're all good we're all good but this is what happens guys is if you dc it's just so pointless because if someone's invading that area, as soon as you turn your computer back on, you're going to get reinvaded. That's just how it works. It resets the timer. So you, if you don't want to PvP, just lose, and then you don't have to do it again. And, oh, up by the fat man. Oh, something, what? Someone's returned home? Why has the phantom returned home? Okay, so we've got side bear. Um, that was, I guess that's good news then. Um, or, it, oh, I guess it could be bad news. That could mean that... Uh, yes, my, my, with my invader hat on, that could mean that maybe dried finger activated. Maybe the the uh, phantom is leaving to restock on the uh, restock on his gear and his equipment, and then he'll be back. So let's check the passive men quickly. That'll give us a clue. So dragons are down, passive men not active. So hasn't gone through the drop down as of yet. So probably hiding in this area. Um, I don't know. Maybe is he waiting for his friend to put his uh, summon sign back down? Could be a potential. These are all things you got me thinking about. <laughs> things I'm worried about as an invader, but I couldn't see him with a quick look around. So I'll head back towards the um, head back towards the first bonfire just to get a better idea of uh, the, the lay of the land of what's what's crack a lacking here. So unlikely to be here because yeah, um, Lothric knights haven't started moving, but it could unfortunately mean that he's in the very first room. So we will just run through because that Lothric knight was looking off to the left slightly, which I've noticed they have. They do tend to do that. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second, we've got a blue in, and the blue is telling me the orange is here. The orange blue, what does orange and blue make? Is that purple? I'm trying to think of my, my primary colour chart now. <laughs> orange, no, that's yellow and blue is purple. Or oh, is it green and blue? Fuck me. This is stuff they teach two-year-olds and I can't even remember the primary colours. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, anyway, so we've got the orange, who is a purple. Um... And it definitely, the, the, the red eye was definitely up. Whoa, no, sir. Absolutely cannot abide you taking on Andrew. That's, that's, you made your first mistake there, sir. Oh, and then oh, the combination. And then Chris joined the party, hit him with a crossbow bolt, and I was able to finish off with the Ronnie one. Look at me, boys. My boys coming in doing the business. You can't mess with these hollows, honest to God. So I'm definitely getting the feeling then that the, okay, another blue's turned up. If the blue is turning up around here as well, yeah, so I think the blue is turning into that, has, has spawned into the area to the left there. Yeah, he has indeed, okay. So I'll be able to get him quickly and sneak up. But this is all telling me a sort of story. The story being that the, the host is hiding around here somewhere, around that bonfire, and he's just spawning in blues, and I'm guessing waiting for him to spawn in his phantom again. So Jesus, sir, there was too much spammage going on. You spuffed all your load, uh, then you decided to hold your shield up, which was a terrible blunder. Uh, and I was able to get the shield break. Um, and also, why are you holding your shield up against a Moonlight Greatsword? This is magic damage, sir. You can't block it very particularly well. So he's definitely hiding here. Is he hiding in the grass? Is he hiding as the Lothric Knight? Just clicking in. Just clicking in the Lothric... Uh, the, the right stick, sorry. Just to see if, try, if I can get a lock on somewhere. Because I know he's got to be around this area. Let's just quickly double check the pus of men. He hasn't dropped down, has he? No. So he is, he is 100%. I'm 100% that he's around this bonfire. Somewhere in this zone. I just need to try and figure out... Oh, the Lothric Knight is dead up here. Oh, hello. There's a box in the corner that isn't usually there. Hang on a second. <laughs> the box is moving. The box is fighting me. He's cornered himself. I think he's trapped himself in the corner. <laughs> Excellent work from Cybear. So there we go. I was, able to, I was able to figure out his plan. He was clearly just hiding in there. Going to let Blues come in and try and do the job for him. 
Um, maybe get his friend to drop a summon sign underneath him as well. Um, but just careful checking. Once you put the pieces together uh, and, and sort of follow the clues, I was able to determine where he was roughly. And then it's just a case of just some careful checking and some uh, clicking off the right stick. And knowing the area as well helps because that, that, <laughs> that box is not usually there, my friend. Calm down now, here we go. Getting invaded. Oh, got my drink. Get myself into my position. Get my control. Okay, let's just set the trap. Hello, Mr. Purple. Can you see me there, sir? That's it. You check the areas. Check over the balcony. And you're running up here. Has he seen me? He's still not seen me. I've whiffed once. I've whiffed twice. <laughs> He's gone terribly wrong. No, put it back right away. Okay, managed to catch him with a rolling attack at least. And he's blocking me. Don't block me, sir. That's probably not the wisest idea. And I'm just going to run straight into your R1s. But there's a little bit of hyper armor. Okay. So he's got a good start. Oh, we were healing. Oh, we're healing. We're fine. Okay. Thank you, sir. Comes charging in for a running attack. The damage is outrageous. Okay. Let's just reset the situation, sir. And go. Let's have that no healing from now on, okay? Because I, I fluffed my lines at the beginning. You took a bit. Oh, what's he going for? The R1s? Oh, uh, dear. Managed to space out his, um, his cool katana anime attack. Okay, he backs up for another heal. Okay, try again, sir. No, 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 no. Let's not do arrow sh shenanigans, please. Let's just have a proper fight. Um, okay, he keeps going from one hand. He's going to go, why Why did you Why did you try parry with the katana when you had a shield? Well, I thought I spaced that okay, but clearly I didn't. Okay, so I, just, it's just, I don't like being on stairs. Oh, no, that was far too early. Or oh, does that give you... Does being in that stance give you a, a um, reduction in damage? It seemed... Oh, <laughs> oh, no! He backed up. He healed. He went for his running attack, which was horribly spaced. Then he backs up straight away again. Okay, so good rolls that time. I think I'm charging in sensibly. But then he, <laughs> he does the exact... Sir, you're just too hyper-aggressive. Choose better times when to attack. Okay. He, he's going for his stance. Does that mean he's going to go... I don't know. Can the weapon not be parried? I think it can. I'm not sure. But I still I went for it for the extra damage. Sir, come on, sir. Come back to me. You heal up and come back to me. Where are you going? Sir, no! No, don't crystal out! That's not the way to do it! Come on, my dude. That's not how you invade. Not, I mean, if it's a, maybe a four-man gang squad, I can understand it, but I'm just one guy. I'm just one man! All right, let's go back to Nameless King. And who have we got this time, then? Okay. Starting by the hollows. No movement from any of the boys. It is Waishni... Hang on. Waishni 996? Um, isn't... Wait. N I don't know exactly, but the dude that invaded me had a sort of Polish, really Polish sounding name like that. Um, I don't know if it was exactly that though. Hang on now. What was he What was he rocking? He had a katana and I think he had... Shoot, I can't remember. He had a shield, katana and elite knight. Oh my god, I think it's him! <laughs> Wish I can't I can't even pronounce that name, but I was at nine nine six. I'm pretty sure this is the purple that, that DC'd on me, but Brian, I was <laughs> Mate, this is incredible. What are the chances? Alright, okay. Calm down. I have to win this one. Okay, I cannot lose to him. He's still going for his parries. Okay, he's put his shield away to put a parry. Of course. Oh no, don't heal right in front of me. Oh the damage! The damage sir is not in your favour. Make sure you get a bit of panic rolls away before you start healing up. Okay, don't be blocking my magic shield. Okay, good challenge. I wasn't expecting him to be that aggressive. I might have to have a heal up. I don't know. Okay, keep on him because I know he's going to want to heal. Keep on him. There it is. Okay, I was just scared to challenge. Oh, panic roll. Panic roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, got to do a little dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down to that. Uh, uh, get down to that. Uh, uh. Oh, do a little dance. <laughs> Make a little love. Get down to that. <laughs> Everyone gets an F1 dance. Oh, mate. What the hell were the chances of that? The geezer invades me in Dragon Peak. And then, <laughs> like, I don't know how, how long ago that was. It? Like half an hour ago, something like that. And now I get it. <laughs> I just love it. Dark Souls, I love you for this exact reason. It's brilliant. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, mate. That is absolutely champion. Gave him a proper L1 dance as well. Good times. <laughs> And who have we got this? This is oh, starting up here. This is always a strange spot to start in. It is you, yo, Jodlo, Jodlo two. Was <laughs> can I just call you Judo? Was <laughs> that easier for me to pronounce? Jo, Jodlo. <laughs> jo okay, so let's have a look. The shortcut has been open, so might as well take the drop down. Oh yeah, it does look like he's been through this way because the uh, the monk has put the buff on, and uh, there's definitely some activity. 
yeah, pass. So you might as well go this way rather than towards the bonfire. Seems likely that uh, Yordle, or <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce that, has been through this way. So let's uh, see if we can find him. Shortcut hasn't been activated. Okay, let's uh, check up by the uh, fog door to see if he's hiding in corners. Uh, cannot see anything there. Can't see him up on the roof. Uh, nope. Right. Oh, but he has opened the uh, the, the path to the, the um, sunlight altar. So okay, let's have a little look out from uh, the balcony. So that's been killed. Check behind me. Oh hello. Oh hello, sir. We got. We got oh no, he stopped for a second. He, he came charging in and stopped for a second to go to uh, to his thing. Oh, I think we got a bit of a fighter PL fanboy. Um, so he went to um, he went to his um, talisman so he could force me off the edge. But fortunately, I was looking behind me. I think he was. I think he was hidden as a uh, as a chandelier or as Cambrilabra. Sorry. Oh, don't do a charge R2. Oh, <laughs> I prepared. I prepared my wave there because I thought he was dead already. The damage looked so ferocious, but he. Is that time? G shit to that man. Excellent attempt to be uh, the trolliest of trolls. Please, now please get the candelabra. Hang on, go to White Branch. White Branch, is the luck with me? Oh, it's oh, boom! Look at me! And now I've disappeared into the night and no one can tell where I am or who I am and what's going on. Done. Trolled. You have been trolled, sir. <laughs> Genius. Well played, that man. Well, he had a tactic. He must have had a tactic. So he was waiting in that room. Uh, ready to maybe backstab me or something. Uh, saw his opportunity when I was <laughs> when I was very close to the edge of that uh, of that drop off, but fortunately I was just looking behind me. <laughs>